but got to show you this severe thunderstorm warning, which uh, covers Okeechobee all the way up through Sebastian. Felsmere down through Vero, down through Fort Pierce, all the way down into Stewart. So you kind of see that the far northern end of Martin County also included in the severe thunderstorm warning, which is in effect till 815. And it has to do with this thunderstorm. By the way, this thunderstorm is a big cell. It has maintained pretty much a healthy strength for a thunderstorm since it was moving over Port Charlotte about two and a half hours ago. And so this is quickly tracking towards the east northeast at 65 miles per hour. You can see a lot of lightning strikes associated here with that, but I also want to point out down uh, south by LaBelle, there was this thunderstorm showing some rotation, which it could still be showing that, but this one is also quickly moving towards uh, the east. It's about 30 miles uh, to the west of Bell Glade. So if that line holds together, that's something we have to watch next for areas of inland Palm Beach County. Also heavy rain and now some thunderstorms out ahead of the core of the thunderstorm that has that severe warning is now spreading into the turnpike I-95 near Fort Pierce. Now let's send it off to uh, John. He's going to show us basically the timing of these storms as we continue or actually here's a live look. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, that's uh, that's 95. That's right, that's right there at 95. That's Fort okay. Pierce, 95 at orange right there. You can see the rain beginning to move in there to uh, Fort Pierce. So uh, the beginning of this uh, next wave of showers and storms moving in there as well. So uh, just be careful if you have to travel anywhere this morning. My advice is just stay home and kind of ride this out for the next couple of hours uh, because this is when we'll see the worst of it. It's a real fast moving system. It's moving at about 65 miles an hour. So uh, it won't be around very long, but it is packing quite a punch. As Jennifer mentioned, there was already a warning out for a good portion of the Treasure Coast until 8.15. Uh, this, again, the wide view of the radar shows you where the intense uh, lightning is and where the uh, potential for gusty winds and, uh, t and tornadoes is as well right now. We still haven't quite made it into the Palm Beaches yet, but it's certainly beginning to move into western portions of St. Lucie County, Indian River County. It's already covering much of southern Okeechobee County as well. I'm going to take the rain off because I want to show you the intense lightning. Just look at this hundreds and hundreds of lightning strikes, a very, very uh, uh, dangerous storm moving northeast very quickly. So take cover in Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce, Lakewood Park. You are definitely in line for that. Stewart as well out toward Indian Town. Again, take cover now. Do not go out. Make sure your kids are indoors, your pets are indoors. Make sure you stay in a safe place. Uh, here's how this plays out as far as our Vipercast model future radar at 8 o'clock. You can see this front pushing the showers and storms slowly off to the east. So at 10 o'clock, we'll see showers and storms anywhere from Vera Beach, Fort Pierce and Stewart uh, beginning to wind on down in Okeechobee and over the southeastern edge of the lake, but beginning to move into Jupiter and between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock arriving in West Palm Beach, but then beginning to clear through the Treasure Coast and then we'll see sunshine returning as we head toward the afternoon. So Treasure Coast, you're going to be in it until about 10 o'clock. For the Palm Beach, especially Eastern Palm Beach, right around uh, downtown Palm Beach and West Palm Beach, probably about 1030 to 1130 is when we'll see the possibility for gusty winds and some of that severe weather.